think that cake goes to prove that the Americans will have a go at almost everything and taste anything. What I'm going to do is something equally as elaborate. It's my fire and iced cake. The first thing I'm going to do is make the cake. I'm going to make a Genoise sponge, which is different to a conventional sort of sponge cake in the way that you add the eggs first and it's not creaming in the butter and the sugar. You add the sugar. And I'm doing an eight egg mix. This will fill a 10 inch cake tin. You can tell when your mixture is ready, when you can lift off the whisk and draw a figure of eight. And if it still leaves the pattern when you're finished, that's when it's ready. You need two sponges to create this cake. The second one is a smaller version to sit on top. So halve the recipe and make one with four eggs. And then we add the flour. This style of sponge uses melted butter to keep it moist. Carefully fold in the flour, making sure you reach all the way to the bottom of the bowl. If we overbeat it at this stage, all that air will come out. Then we can pour the whole lot into the cake tin. It's quite dense, so we cook it slightly low oven for about sort of 25 to 30 minutes. So the biscuits are done what we call a French classic twill. It's using egg whites, butter, sugar and flour. You just throw it all together. What this twill biscuit is, is a pliable biscuit and it enables us to then twist it and turn it into different shapes. Now this needs to rest in the fridge just to firm up. And I've got one here. You can see the texture of it changes slightly. And then this is where we can make the biscuits. And what we need is a greaseproof paper mat and then you need two templates, little triangles, just out of plastic. And then we spread the mixture over the top of the templates. Make small and large biscuits with two different sized moulds. You need to repeat the process about three or four times. Bake it in the oven for about three or four minutes until they're slightly golden brown. While they're still hot, you do need asbestos hands. You just lay them on the top and you can mould them into shapes. If you haven't got one of these trays, laying your biscuits over two wooden spoons will work just as well. And it's really the colour of these biscuits that gave me the inspiration for this cake. They actually look like flames in a fire, so we need quite a lot of these. Now the great thing about these sponges are they're nice and light, and I'm going to fill this with whipped cream and raspberries, and then I've got plenty of my biscuits here, so you get a difference in textures really. So slice the cake in half. Brush each layer with stock syrup mixed with kirsch, a layer of cream and fresh raspberries. And then you can repeat the process with the top. Then just like the pumpkin cake, you need to coat your cake in a classic buttercream frosting. And this is just whipped butter and icing sugar. You really don't need to be too precise, especially around the edge, because that's what we've got the biscuits for but make sure it's completely covered so that the biscuits can stick to it. And mix and match the heights to these so they don't look all the same. To add even more wow factor, you can top the cake with some exotic flowers. We've got these birds of paradise flowers which create these nice little flames off the top. This is the ultimate show-stopping cake. It really will impress at any celebration and it's well worth the effort. To finish off, I'm making some sugar decorations. Heat up some caster sugar and water until it starts to caramelise. You can tell when the sugar's ready, when all the sugar's dissolved. And this is where you can go to town. Then carefully wrap your sugar around a rolling pin. The sugar slides off. This is really where cake decorating, you can go as mad as you want. And there you have it, fire and ice cake. Try that at home.